<laughs> we didn't even bite. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna take my boat down an old dirt road. I'm gonna ride till I get to the shore. I'm gonna take my boat down an old dirt road. I'm gonna fish till I can't no more. I got five pounders in the bag. Don't need call tags for that. Frogging in the grass. Look for some big old bass. My phone always buzzing. My wife always bugging. But it's he -he. Oh no. Good morning guys welcome back to the channel so today we put in over here at clouds creek give them a try i mean the crappy's on the bridge right now so i don't see why they wouldn't be uh my dad actually got a new mold yesterday for making jigs and we're gonna give a new mold a try today it's a little sh uh, shad body jig i think it's gonna do really good in our color so let me get up under this All right, so this is probably just a little quick run through. I got a little test batch of these things. I'll show y'all one right here. That's what they look like. So what I got right here is a 410 slab on a rod. Paired with a 132 with a loop knot. There you go. When that bad boy right there got some action, we should be able to catch some on that. Finally got something decent. Oh yeah. That's a nice slab right there, guys. a good one right there almost two pounds probably good 12 13 inches pre-spawn fish not pre-spawn but post-spawn fish Let's see if we can get some more like that all right so first spot was a bus we caught a couple under eight inches on the new jig and then i caught that one good one on the, uh, the flapper tail jig so I mean I ain't gonna stick around all day to see if they come in I'm, I'm hitting the blacks right now I'm gonna relaunch the kayak I mean that's the best thing about having a kayak I mean you just load it up and go but even on the graph I mean you can barely find any fish at clouds right now so maybe they'll come back in there I've caught a lot of fish last week there so Hopefully they'll come back, but anyways, I'm gonna head to the Blacks, relaunch the boat, and as so, soon as I see if I can find some fish, we gonna know. <laughs> we finally hooked into one. God dang, shit took forever. <laughs> Number two, ain't no giant, but I'm gonna take it right now. I'm marking a lot of fish, but they just don't want to bite. I had to go to a smaller jig head and that one finally bit. Maybe we own something, I don't know. But like they say, one fish is a dumb fish, two fish is a pattern. So 
if we can catch another one like that, then we can rock with it for a little bit. All right. Number three, pretty good one. So maybe this is working. <laughs> Smaller jig head in the wind. Picky fish. That's fun on the pole. The bridge bite is pretty much dead right now. But I have found a massive school. But the funny thing is my depth finder isn't showing them. I just happened to put my pole down there and catch one. And every time I come through here, I'm catching one. So really, I mean, the wind, I push up with the wind and I let it, uh, let the wind push the kayak back. My anchor's in the truck. I might call my brother here in a minute to go get my anchor. He's here for bass fishing. But if you go right on top of this brush pile right here, I mean, they knock the crap out of it. I probably done caught at least eight without the camera on. I don't even know what I was thinking. I should have turned the camera on, I guess. All right, so the wind's gonna start blowing me. I should go over the brush pile here. Just a minute. It's a lot of one arm paddling doing this. Cause I mean, they ain't biting it unless you're right on top of that brush pile. All right, we should be going over the brush pile right now. My depth finder went off on that fish. There's a brush on the depth finder. I'll show y'all that. See, it's absolutely pinging no fish at all. So I wasn't gonna stop. But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna put my pole in the water. And there he is right there. <laughs> See what I'm saying? There's absolutely no fish on the depth finder. I don't think this one's gonna keep. But I got a I got a pretty big jig head on right now. I know a lot of people on my channel know I don't like using big jig heads, but with the way I'm fishing, I've kind of got to because the wind blowing me back. Let's check this guy. I really don't think he's gonna keep. Nah, he's about seven inches. See if we can catch one more before we got to paddle back up there. Yeah, here's a good shot of the depth of the depth finder right there. That's what I'm fishing. Ten foot of water. There he is. A little guy. Nice little crappy dude. I believe that one will keep. He's gonna slide through my legs. 
Come here, boy. Oh yeah, he's eight inches. And the trick is just staying on top of this brush as good as I can. When the wind's blowing, that's a pretty good one. Oh yeah. Healthy fish right there. Nice post spawn fish. Get the 10 incher. But what I was saying, like if I can stay on top of this brush and just let the kayak drift back, it's pretty much like trolling guys. Now heavy winds, I'm gonna have to go get my anchor. But I'm gonna have to take a second and count these fish here in a minute. I don't know how many I've caught. I just been throwing them in the bag. <laughs> I mean, it's real simple fishing. Just a jig, pretty big jig head, and an eight foot pole. Now, I mean, I recommend this pole in the kayak if you're crappy fishing. Because, I mean, you don't have a trolling motor to get to the places that you need to be. Like, if I was using my other rod that's laying in the boat right now, I would have to have the brush pile directly under me. But if I miss the brush pile coming back, I can shift my pole over to either side and try to hit that brush pile. I'm directly over that brush pile now. I knew it wouldn't take long. <laughs> he straight choked that thing too, Jesus. I don't think you're gonna keep the thing. You wanted that to you. I mean, I don't understand why my depth finder ain't picking these fish up, but they are freaking stacked in here. God almighty. Nah, he wouldn't keep. Blood all over my jig. Jig's all messed up. Oh, there he was right there, and I didn't feel him bite. Darn it. Hurry up, me back in there before we drift away. I've got this line probably about six foot, so really they're about four foot down. Ten foot of water, four foot off this brush. That's a good one. Look at that one, guys. It's a good 10 inch fish right there. There he is. <laughs> he didn't even bite. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, number 20 just falls right back in the dang water, guys. What the heck? <laughs> and now we gotta catch another one. We ride on top of that brush, though, so it shouldn't be too difficult to do that. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's not lose this one, guys. Number 20. How about that? Y'all should hit that subscribe button because it was a 20 of fish. Alright. That'll do it. So, pre chase, all y'all watching. Remember to hit the subscribe button, it means a lot to me. I'm trying to do this fishing thing on YouTube. Share it with your friends on Facebook. Every share counts. And I'll catch you next time, y'all.